what is up everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna do the first catch and cook that I've done on this channel a lot of people has asked for me to do a catch and cook so we're finally gonna do one uh, we went out and did some pompano fishing with my cousins they were down for the weekend this past weekend we we're able to get on some nice pompano uh, so I'm gonna do a quick catch and cook for y'all Drop a comment down below, let me know if you like the catch and cooks, if you want to see more. And let me know if there's any fish in particular you'd like to see me cook. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and roll some footage for y'all real quick, see how we did. Make sure y'all do subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope y'all enjoy it. Is it still there? Really in. It still might be there. Might be swimming in. Oh, yeah, yeah. You feel it? Oh, oh, oh. It's on. Keep going. I think it's swimming in. Yeah, real fast. Real fast, real fast, real fast, real fast. It's, or it broke it off. It was a shark. Yeah. See that? Shark oh, bit it. If it tries to go, you can let it go. Just try to keep tension on it. So when it's pulling, just let it run. It just jumped out of the water. You see it? No. Yeah, right here. See, it just jumped again. Going back that way. You see it now? Yeah. It's right where those waves are breaking. There it is. Pompano. Yeah. Oh. Alright, now just back up and let it slide up. Yep. God! <laughs> All right, you can set that back in there. Do you have teeth? No. All right. But they got some spines on the top here. Okay. So they can kind of hurt. You can hold it. You can grab it by the mouth too, yeah. I don't even it's, know. It's anything. not like a bass where it's got big lips. So grab the tail, and then you can grab it right there. Yeah. They get pretty floppy, so it might try to flop out of your hands, but... Here. You want me to rinse it? Yeah. yeah, probably. I usually put my hands to their gills. Oh. That way it can't get out. Too much tension. Like, you still want to put tension on it, but if it's trying to run, just let it go. You still there? Alright. Oh, I saw a jump. It's gonna come out where they are. Oh, yeah. Alright. Hey, you can, you can walk this way and go in front of them. Watch out, Kelton. Just watch out for that other line. If you have to, you can walk under it. But it looks like it's right here. Ladyfish. You ain't leaving, boy. Oh, you got a new kind. Yeah. Look at you. Hey, you want to go this way and set the pole back in? We got a fish on here. I'll wait for Jacob, see if he can come reel it in. Can't tell if it's still there. Hang on. Oh, yeah, it's still there. Still feel it there? Lady fish. Oh, yeah. All right. Lady fish. They're wild. All you gotta do is just hold it behind the leg. Hold it tight. You got it? But not too tight. Look at my breath, buddy. Bro, it's, okay. it's swine! <laughs> hold the back of its tail and hold the middle of its body. Yeah. You want it? Here 
You ready? All right, it's swimming over this way, so walk that way with it. And then you might have to go... Uh, hang on. Go over me. No, there's nothing here. I was just getting out of his way. The fish is swimming over. Yeah, so keep going. Uh, his fish. Keep going. Keep reeling. Get off. No, it was just this fish. Got something good here, Jacob. Oh, oh it's the uh, first one I caught. Uh, Pompano? Yeah, Pompano. Yep. All right, that's a good one too. You're gonna stick your finger up its gill. Kind of sounds that, weird, but uh. That one looks weird. You hold it? No. But you can hold it like that too. Grab it by its tail, and then take your other hand and put your fingers kind of right on their gills, like I got it. Yep. Got a good one? No, Kelton. Kelton, no. Yeah, it's under that line, so you're good. Looks like another Pompano. Kelton, get back, please. Watch out. Sure you don't want to hold it? You want to kiss it? You don't want to kiss it? I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> I said, you want to kiss it? He said, I'm not that kind of guy. <laughs> All right, y'all. So you saw we were able to get on some pompano. My cousins had a blast. That was actually their first time ever catching some saltwater fish. Uh, so it was really cool to see them out there catching some fish for the first time. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and jump right into this recipe. My buddy Ryan told me about this. I've never done any fish nachos until he was telling me about this a few months ago. And me and my wife have been doing quite a lot of them. Uh, so we're going to do some pompano nachos for you today. All right, so we got the fresh pompano here. All I put on there, a little bit of Tony's, a little bit of garlic powder. Got the butter heating up over here. So we're just going to sprinkle on a little bit of Tony's. A little bit of garlic powder as well. Alright, so now i got the pompano seasoned. Pompano does have a really thin skin. Uh, it can kind of be a pain to get off when you're cleaning them. So a lot of times I'll just leave the skin on. And then when I cook it, I will cook it skin down first. And that'll kind of help loosen that skin up from the back side of the meat. And we're just going to do this blackened. Uh, so I'm going to cook it skin down first. And then when I do flip the fish over, which you'll see in a minute, that skin will just peel right off the back. But while we were waiting on that to cook, I already got a plate of some uh, Tostitos out right now. We got some shredded cheese. I always start my nachos off with a good bit of shredded cheese on top if you are on a diet this recipe is not for you uh, so a good bit of cheese on top right there I like to pop it in the microwave do a quick little 30 seconds I melt that cheese real nice And after that cheese is melted and this fish is cooked, we'll get the fish on there. I'm going to go ahead and get out the toppings and I'll see y'all in just a minute. Alright, so the pompano is about ready for a flip. You can kind of see that skin's curling up there. 
you can just take these tongs, grab it, and it will usually peel right off. Alright, got the rest of that skin off. After I get the skin off, I like to just sprinkle on a little more garlic powder. You cannot have enough garlic. I'm going to let that finish cooking for a minute. I'm going to do one more flip. Uh, just get a little bit of crust on that back side as well. I'm going to pull out these nachos out of the microwave. I'll get back to y'all in just a minute. Alright, now that we've got a good blackening on these fish, I like to just take my tongs, break it up just a little bit. This helps when you're putting it in with the nachos, break up your bites a little. Then you can just take this fish, put it right over onto your chips. Alright y'all, so I'm actually a little bit picky when it comes to nachos and I don't put a ton of stuff on here. So I like to just go with a little bit more shredded cheese. Again, you can never go wrong with shredded cheese. I like to get some sour cream. Always got to have some sour cream on there. If we have jalapenos, I will put some jalapenos on here. I do not have any right now. And then I put hot sauce on just about everything. This is Melinda's hot sauce. Just got this the other day at Publix. It is really, really good. Get some hot sauce on there. But by all means, put whatever you want. My wife will usually do onions, uh, guacamole or avocado, uh, tomatoes. I mean, whatever. Whatever you like on uh, nachos. Go ahead and put those on there as well. Alright y'all, I'm going to go ahead and dig into these nachos. See how they turned out today. Make sure I get a big piece of fish on there. A little bit of sour cream and some hot sauce. Mmm. Holy crap, that's good. Man, again, if y'all have not done fish nachos, they are incredible. Blackening seasoning, which you can do it any kind of way you want. If you don't like blackening, you can do grilled, baked, whatever. Uh, put it on top of the bed of chips. Quick, easy dinner. Uh, my wife's at work tonight. I got the kids, so it's easy just to throw a fillet down and make a quick, easy dinner for myself. So if y'all did enjoy that video and want to see more Catch and Cooks, give it a big thumbs up. If you have not subscribed already, make sure you do subscribe. So yeah, drop a comment down below. Let me know if you want to see more Catch and Cooks. But I'm going to get out here, finish the rest of this dinner, and I will see you all next time. Peace.